Good afternoon. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Saucetta. We begin with Travis Christie and a look at that forecast. Well, Deanna, we definitely have a big winter storm moving towards New Mexico, and with it, we got to talk about some of these areas of concern, namely the northern and northwestern parts of the state where we've got winter storm warnings in effect through essentially uh, tomorrow afternoon around 5 o'clock. It expires at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Also, central sections, winter weather advisories, and down here to the south, winter storm warnings. Meanwhile, we've got some problems down the Sac Sacramento's with the winter weather advisory there. We advance things for you, show you what's happening on the radar right now. The bulk of the activity really is happening in Arizona, but we still have a few showers popping up from time to time in northern portions of the state around Las Vegas, back towards Grant and north of there around Farmington. Meanwhile, you go a little bit further off towards the west. Again, we're seeing some pretty good shower activity into Arizona, south of Tuba City, Flagstaff getting some snow showers. This is all heading our direction. Of course, we will keep you updated. All right. Thanks a lot. Now, new information about the pedestrian hit and killed in northeast Albuquerque last night. His name, 46-year-old Robert Nakagawa, was first hit from behind by a car near Spain and Moon around 7 p.m. Then another car ran over him. It was first thought Nakagawa was a transient, but turns out he did live in the area. Police say they don't think the drivers will face any charges. An important step for west side commuters. Ground was broken today for another phase of the Unser Extension Project. This is phase two. It'll extend Unser another four and a half miles between San Ignacio to Senator Dennis Chavez Boulevard. It's expected to be finished by fall of 2010 at a cost of $7 million. Phase three will begin in the spring of next year and be completed in 2011. That will connect the South Valley to Rio Rancho. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a good day.